lots and the price on this thing was five dollars when i found it so that's a pretty good deal all right so let's open this handy caddy up First thing we notice here is covered in bubble wrap. And it's not very good popping bubble wrap, but I'm sure it would protect this thing a little bit. It says how to use. The handy caddy tray should arrive assembled and ready to use. Place the top tray over the bottom tray so that the front wheels on the top tray extend over the bottom tray. By aligning the dots as indicated on the two trays, roll the handy caddy back and forth. You'll know it is properly sealed if the top tray comes to a full stop when it is extended out to, this far, to as far as it will go. Place your coffee maker, blender, or other appliances on the handy caddy and it is ready to use. Make sure that the handy caddy is placed far enough back on the counter so that it does not reach the counter's edge when fully extended. Cleaning. The handy caddy can be cleaned with a damp cloth or sponge and is dishwasher safe. Well, that's a little off. All right, so let's get this out of the plastic here. It's got a little tape on. I'm just picturing, you know, it's got a little piece of scotch tape on here. And folks, I wanted to address something that was a little bit disheartening to me. A few years ago, um, when I was unemployed, I had applied for a job at the As Seen on TV Handy Caddy Factory. And I applied to be a tape person, a person that puts the scotch tape on the handy caddies, on the packaging, and they didn't hire me. And I know it was because I didn't go to college. I know that's what it was. I think it requires a bachelor's degree to put the tape on the handy caddy. So I'm pretty sure that's why I didn't get the job. And you know, a shout out to all my teachers who told me I should have went to college, you were right. I didn't get that job at the handy caddy factory putting tape on the handy caddy packaging. So uh, kudos to you for warning me and shame on me for not listening. Okay, so here we go. Oh, there's a warning on here. Avoid danger of suffocation. Keep this bag away from babies and Oh, really? Okay, anyway, read that. All right, so we got the handy caddy out now. All right, let's check this thing out. All right, folks, it looks like we've got two parts here. And in the instructions, it did say that, you know, you're supposed to just set this thing, uh, set this thing down, and then you're supposed to put this on top of it. And then once you get the, the wheels on top of here, and all you're doing here is sliding this out, and it extends out, and right there's the edge of my cabinet. So I'll be putting, like I said, my coffee maker on here, and we'll see how that works. I'm gonna have it in the corner like I always store it. You can see over here, I've got stored here in the corner. I'm gonna put that handy caddy in there and I'll be able to slide that in and out whenever I go to make coffee. So this, this is pretty cool to me. All right, so, okay, so I've got my Keurig now here on my handy caddy. And you can see here that somebody left a cocoa in here and they are gonna get in trouble. Oh my goodness, that's awful. I got my Keurig and it's on the handy caddy now. And you see there's the handy caddy. And it looks like all I'm gonna have to do is just push it back for storage and it just slid right back in there. And one thing that I thought about is I like the idea of this because whenever I go to use this, obviously I can just slide it out now and right there it is at you know, my hand's reach. Uh, but also this makes it a little bit more convenient when I'm putting water in this thing. So now I'm not having to manhandle this thing and worry about water sloshing around and maybe getting out the edges here of, uh, you know, because this doesn't really seal up that well. You know what I'm saying? If Whenever I'm pulling this out sometimes, I think the water probably drips down the side there a little bit. So I don't have to worry about this now with this handy caddy. So obviously it just slides in, slides out, slides in, slides out. Wax on, wax off. All right, so that works pretty awesome. And something I do want to mention about this handy caddy is, is it kind of like locks here at the end so it doesn't just keep going. There's like a little bit of a lock in, the, in this mechanism somewhere that keeps this from just sliding all the way out. So that is a big plus. And you know, folks, I feel so good about this handy caddy today that uh, the convenience that it's uh, brought into my life, I think I'm gonna treat myself to some Aldi hot cocoa. This is one of my favorite drinks on the planet and Aldi makes a really good hot cocoa that you can stick right into a Keurig and it just brews it right up. So 
I think I'm gonna treat myself to this since my little handy caddy has uh, made my coffee maker so accessible. Or should I say today, my cocoa maker. And today I'm gonna be drinking the Irish cream. I've had this before and it is delicious. So the Handy Caddy allowed me to pull my Keurig out here real easy. Got my Aldi Coke on there, got it in there. I'm gonna pop it down, I'm gonna shut it, and then we're gonna push the magic button and make some cocoa. And not only is the curd convenient, but with the Handy Caddy underneath of it, that just makes it twice as convenient. Oh, here comes that delicious Aldi's cocoa. And this is, per like I said, this is purchased at Aldi's and it is Beaumont cocoa from Aldi's. And it's coming through loud and clear now. We've got a good stream going there. This cocoa looks awesome, but I'm going to top it off with some Baker's Corner mini marshmallows. These come from our friends at Aldi's as well. And I always like to throw a handful in there. So we got a handful of those marshmallows in there. And the fat kid in me is not going to let me get away with just some marshmallows. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys something. I really, really love the coconut cream from Friendly Farms, and I always add this to my cocoa. And this uh, coconut cream is delicious. I did shake this up. I'm gonna put a tinge in here. It also cools it down just a little bit so it's a little more drinkable, but it creams it up real good. So we got a nice cream going on there. And I'm gonna mix this up. That mixed up real good. We gotta to top this off with some real whipped cream. And this is a Friendly Farms product from Aldi's as well. So we've got the whipped dairy topping. Oh yeah. So folks, I'm not making a secret out of this. I'm spoiling myself today. I've got my ass seen on TV handy caddy and it helped me to make some uh, nice hot chocolate with my Keurig today. Made it a little more convenient. I've been using my Aldi's products as well. I've got my Beaumont cocoa in here and I've got my Friendly Farms whipped cream and my Friendly Farms coconut creamer. Folks, I'm gonna enjoy this cocoa now. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell and it'll remind you to come back and uh, watch more videos whenever I release more reviews. I thank you so much for stopping by and God bless. Oh yeah. Delicious. Oh yeah. Calgon, take me away.